Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over how to add text to your drawing. So there are a couple different ways to do this, but uh, both of them are equally as useful in their own specific uh, instances. So let's get into it. Alright, so there are two main ways to add text to your AutoCAD drawing. The first one we're going to go over is actually single line text, and then you have the multi line text function. So both options are both great ways to add text to your drawing but both serve different purposes as well. So the single line text we're going to use when we want it done quick and we just need kind of a really rough um, uh, option and then the multi-line text is going to be used when we want a bunch of options. So say we want that text to be a specific font, we want it a specific color, a couple other different options here and there, that's when we're going to use the multi-line text. So for this example right now we're going to use the single line text and to find the text or the text option it's going to be in the annotation box up here and it's going to be underneath the home tab so we're going to drop down and you have the multi-line text and single line so currently it's on single line right now and actually I'm going to draw a rectangle to kind of give you an accurate um, kind of just reference point but say we want to call out that this rectangle is a rectangle obviously it is but we want to label it as a rectangle so I'm going to go up to the text button we're going to press it and bring it down and we're going to label that right to the side of it and um, we want it about the same height so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to specify the start point of your text so we're going to go right here we want the start point right here and this is the next thing you're going to want to do is find out how large you want the text what size you want it because this is the way you're going to do it so you, instead of choosing a um, kind of font size you're just going to create the size based on a reference point so this rectangle we want it about the size of the rectangle we're going to go up here and that's going to be 53 feet for our uh, drawing or 53 units and I'm going to left click now the next thing it's going to ask you is the rotation angle of the text and if you don't want any sort of angle on your text which most people don't you want it uh, like horizontal uh, we're going to click zero so we're going to enter zero in right there click enter and now it's giving us our cursor to start typing and we're just going to type in rectangle and as you can see I can um, click enter to go down again or I can click a space and keep typing but for right now we are just going to finish it out with the rectangle so once you're done typing we're going to click out of that press escape and I can move this around now like any other shape so I can move this like a rectangle like a circle it now becomes its own entity. So that is how you add text very quickly. Uh, another thing with this too is say we do want to rotate it. So the way to do that is we're going to add text again right here. I am going to have it at that height and right here where it's asking you to specify the angle of rotation this is where you're going to want to input your angle. So for us we're going to put 45 degrees we're going to click enter and as you can see it's giving us that text now at 45 degrees. So I'm going to type in AutoCAD and it is now at a 45 degree angle. So that is the single line text function. Uh, let's move on to the multi line. All right, so the next option you have is using the multi line text function. So this is going to allow you to option out your text box. It's going to give you certain options like color, font size, all that stuff. We're going to go over the basics right now. And I'm planning on making a future video to go over the more in-depth portions. But to create a multi-line text box, and again, this is going to be more for an option if you need a specific paragraph written into a drawing. We're going to go up to the text box. We're going to click down here. Click multi-line text. And it's going to ask us to specify the first corner. So we're just going to start getting into it. Say we want, um, let's put another shape in, for example. But say we want to write something about this rectangle. So what we're going to do is click that, specify the first corner right up here, and now it's allowing us to draw a box out. So for this example, we'll just go right here, and the first thing you're going to notice is it takes you up top to a text editor ribbon. And this ribbon is going to have a whole bunch of different tools on it. You're going to have um, anything from font size, font type, you can bold your text, you have a spell check up here, a ton of different tools. But right now we're just going to focus on the main ones and this first thing before we even start typing we're going to want to notice um, the draw box up here so you can see that i can change the width up here to bring it in that's a tab function 
Um, I can, let's pull it in like that. Really, I have a lot of options, but the first thing that I want to point out as well is right here, I can press this and create where I want to tab over. So I can put tabs in, almost kind of like something you do in Microsoft Word. So right here we have this tab. I want a middle tab that I'm going to uh, bring in here. I want a left-hand tab that I'm going to bring in here. And if you see, I can start typing. I can press a tab button, and now it's going to bring me over to uh, these specific areas. And then I'm just tabbing at a regular spot, right? Um, but past that tab function, we also have options for our font size, our text, a bunch of different things. So, for example, say we want to say um, this is a rectangle. I can make that font size, the first thing, way bigger. So, for example, right here, say I want that font size to go up uh, a lot bigger. I can go 57. Say I want a custom font size, I can actually just type in here. We'll go 90 feet, a little bit bigger, right? And let's go even 500 feet. Now, all of a sudden, that's going to be a lot bigger, right? So, again, you pick your font size right there. We're going to go back to 90 because I like that size. And then right over here, I can decide uh, what, size, what type font I want, right? I can go, say I want this to be in... Um, I don't know, delivery Vite, I can do that. Um, I can do whatever this font is. Really, you know, you have all the fonts, this crazy looking font right here. I can put it in there. I can also, again, basics like Microsoft Word, I can bold stuff. I can italicize it. I can underline it. I can put an underline on top of it, right? Bunch of different options you have. And the last thing I want to show you really with this for this very basic lesson is uh, you can change the color. So a lot of people want to change the color of certain things there. I can change it to green. I can go back and change it to this dark red or maroon. Uh, change it to this light blue color, right? Really any color I want. So this is going to allow you to kind of, you know, really draw out a box. And it's going to give you more options as well. So. That is pretty much it for the um, multi-line, but as you can see, I hopped off of it, and now it allows me to kind of, again, create this bigger box. So it's meant for more of a, say, I had a design and I need to put a note in there. That's what I want to use the multi-line text for. All right, so thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to. Like the video down below. If you have a better way of seeing or doing something, Leave it in the comments section. I always like to learn more as I can, and that way I can teach you. Uh, if you want to see something else, of course, leave it in the comments section below. I do plan on making a part two so we can go over the multi-line text options in more detail once you see that text editor ribbon. I want to go over um, just how to use the tools that you're provided in that ribbon that we did not go over. So uh, subscribe if you want to see that. But past that, again, I appreciate everyone, and... Hopefully everyone has a good rest of their day. Thanks.